So what with it being Halloween next weekend, I thought that I should probably do a video which is going to come out on Halloween. I need to film it today and then edit it throughout the week so we can get it out on Halloween. Anyway, I figured that I should probably do a video about some sort of Halloween monster and I decided to make a witch. So I live in the north of Lancashire in a little town called Clitheroe and there is a hill which is visible from Clitheroe called Pendle Hill. So there's the story of the Pendle witches, these women who were put on trial for witchcraft, supposedly. So I figured that I want to I wanna try and make a witch anyway to, to sell in this local area as, you know, Pendle witches. It's sort of a, a thing that I figured I could probably try and, try and sell. But I've been wanting to make a design of a witch for quite a long time. And this, this Halloween has forced me to get into some prototyping. So I think this is going to be the third one that I've ever made. So the processes aren't, aren't refined as they could be, and the design perhaps needs a little bit more refining, but let's, let's get into it and have a go. So I'm going to use this tool, and I'm also using this smaller anvil, as this tool fits this anvil, and then a little bit later on when we're making punching in the facial features, I'll do it on the anvil rather than in the vise, and so I want this nice sharp edge here, and that'll, you'll see why when we do that. Anyway, I'm going to start working on the hat. And so the hat is effectively just a collar welded onto a 12mm bar. So I'm going to take another 12mm bar and put it into this swage so it can become half round. This is a, I think this is a 16mm swage. So we're forging a 12mm bar into a 16mm swage to get half round, which we then wrap around another 12mm bar and forge weld on. So I'll do all of that and then we can explain a little bit more about how we forge the rest of the, the shape and the hat. So we've got this collar bar heating up in the forge and then we've also got this bar a 12 mil round and so we're going to take that over to the anvil and upset material into the end so we have more mass there and this is because we're going to be forge welding that copper onto that other bar and so at these higher temperatures we lose material due to scale and whatever if we burn some off or anything so we want more mass there so that when we after the forge weld it still looks like a 12 mil bar and we don't go under 12 mil Make sure the inside of this collar is really clean so we get a good take on the forge weld. And begin to wrap that up into a circle. So we can then put that other bar, the upsetting bar, through. cut the collar now and we've got to make sure to leave a gap because if we don't leave a gap what can happen is we can get inclusions or areas where the collar isn't touching the, the bar that we're welding it onto and so it won't weld. Obviously you can tell now why that upset is important is we've lost a lot of material on the end and that's okay we, should, we have enough material there to draw it out into the, a nice pointy hat. So what we need to do now is squish this material so we get a nice square shoulder on this side and it flowing out on the other side. So I've got a couple of dies that I use to do that and I'm going to put this anvil on the floor so that then I can really upset it down squashing that material a little bit better. So you can see we have this bottom die here, which is a little bit of a relieve, so that can create a nice texture on the top side. 
We then have another die which goes on there which is flat on the bottom so we get a nice square flat bottom to the hat. So then I have a pipe which goes over the top so I can then upset that material down. It's a bit of a crazy way to forge this but I can't think of any other way to do this really so this is what I've come up with. See, we've got it now nice flat there and it coming out in a bit more of a curve on the other side and it's nice and wide as well. Just to draw the edge out a little bit more, I'm going to come from the near edge of the anvil and just nip it out. down the material to the hat so it goes to a point. punch all the facial features of the witch on on the anvil rather than trying to do it in the vise. So I'm going to use this block just to hold it. So when I'm forging on this side of the face, I can put it on this side. So I'm forging into the block. And when I'm forging on the other side, I can hold it there. So you could hold it on the step, but the hat sort of gets in the way. And the reason why I'm using this smaller anvil is because this tool fits in it, but also it has a really sharp edge on the back there so that it doesn't bend as if we're doing it on a radius edge and we're forging right up next to the hat it will bend so we need that nice sharp edge okay we can begin to forge the face i'm going to use this tool just to set a place for the eyes and create the nose as well Now we can get the eyes, so it's a small eye tool, get in there. Quite sunken eyes, but I think it, I think it looks pretty good. I'll rough in the shape of the nose, just want to make it a little bit narrow. Just take these edges in. Put a little bit more shape on the nose. Come on with a V. Make it a V shape. Just going to try and push the nose in a little bit more. And then bring this down. Come in and get the nostrils poked in. Now we can section off an area for the mouth, and then below that, we've got the chin then going in to the neck. Use these bars to 
to neck in at the neck. So we can forge out the chin, the bottom side of the chin here, try and push it out, draw that material out, try and pinch out a little bit more, more width on the chin, you know, drawing it out in this dimension. So now it's time to punch the mouth on and we do this, you know, an upside down, so it's, it's, it looks a bit angry rather than making it look happy. There we go. So we've just got the to dot the pupils, and then that's it. I'll give it a wire brush and then you can see it as a finished piece. So I haven't quite got the process down for making this witch's head. I need to refine it and just improve it and therefore improve the design as well, maybe make it a little bit shorter, it might be a little bit long at the moment, try and bring the nose out and the chin out, really exaggerate those features as when you think of a witch, you think of that pointy nose and pointy chin. So, happy Halloween, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Also, the song that is playing right now was written and sung by my brother, so I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and check out his stuff on SoundCloud or, or one of those things. From witches to paraglider, my love rules the sky. She might teach me to fly